Hi everyone, welcome back to Project Happy Home. For those of you who are new here, welcome. I'm Tanya, doctor, lawyer, turned homeschool mom of three kids ages 10, 7, and 5. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing for you the two math books that are offered as part of Evan Moore's Homeschool Bundle for Math. The two books are The Math Fundamentals and The Daily Math Practice. The reason we see three books here is because this one is a student practice book of daily math practice. So I'll start off with the daily math practice books for grade three. Now the main difference between the teacher's edition and the student book is that the student practice book has only the problems separated out by weeks and days. It does not include an answer key or any state correlations or teaching prompts. The teacher book, however, is exactly the same as the student book, but it also includes teaching prompts, it is perforated pages, and it includes a complete skill scope and sequence that is correlated to state standards. It also includes some teaching prompts here and a how to solve word problems checklist that you can copy and laminate and hand out to your students. Evan Moore is a publisher that does allow you to reproduce pages in the book for single classroom use. So within a family, you are welcome to do that. So when you go through the daily math practice, there are five day units and basically they are half a page for each day. So you have here clearly labeled week one, day one daily math practice. And you can see there's just five problems and they are of all different types. So it's a great way to just make sure that your student is hitting the key things that they wanna learn in that grade level. It does progress sequentially in difficulty as you go through. So as your student is learning these skills in their core curriculum, the idea is that you can check and see for that comprehension and retention. Um, with a simple little daily math practice. So I'm gonna go through here. You'll notice that day five has activities. So it's a slightly more open-ended um, where you have a word problem and an area to show your work. And here you have a different type of problem than the other four days. So as we go through, you can see there's all different types of problems, including fractions, multiplication, arithmetic, place value, and charts and graphing. Here's perimeter word problems with money, equation writing, writing multiplication and division in different ways, symmetry, shape attributes, calendar skills, more fraction skills, and you can see now we're moving up to three digit addition and subtraction. Here you have an addition table, you have slightly more complicated perimeters and shapes. You have three dimensional shapes here, scheduling and time, again, more complicated word problems here with ingredients and amounts and costs, money practice, and so on and so forth. So to give you an idea, it's a really swift way to practice consistent assessment of student retention of material. And as I mentioned previously, there are complete answer keys at the end of the book. The student practice book for that is exactly the same. It just lacks the answer key as well as the initial pages with scope and sequence and the teaching prompts. So Math Fundamentals is actually a very different type of book than daily math practice. It can be used as a core curriculum or as a supplement. It is correlated to current standards and it goes over many of the different things that you cover in third grade math, including place value, operations, fractions, time, mass, liquid volume, and attributes of shapes. Now, it is worth noting that if you use this as a core curriculum, there is a suggested teaching path on page eight that does not go in the order of this book. This book is separated into 10 different units, as you can see in the table of contents, that go from solving problems with multiplication division, using properties of multiplication division, multiplying and dividing within 100, solving problems and identifying patterns, performing multi-digit arithmetic, fractions, time, liquid volumes and masses, data interpretation, area, perimeter, and analyzing shapes. When you look at the suggested teaching path, you'll notice that they suggest starting with multi-digit arithmetic, which starts on page 63 of this book, and then going backwards to the first section, solving problems with multiplication and division, and so on and so forth, kind of jumping from one area to the next. The other way of using this book is like as a companion to your standard core curriculum, or as a companion to daily math practice, where you notice that the student does one problem or two problems incorrectly, suggesting that they don't understand a particular concept. So here, for example, if they make mistakes with multiplication and division and the relation between the two, you can use particular pages from Math Fundamentals directed to those skills to practice that. 
If we go back a little bit, you'll notice that the first few pages of Math Fundamentals basically go through the style of the book. You have a teacher page with a unit overview, and then you have student pages that include math models within these boxes, which are examples of the problems that they might be seeing, and then you have skills practice for the student. There are also problem solving activities at the end of each of the units, and a complete answer key. So for example, if we go to the first section here, solving problems with multiplication and division, you will notice that you have the domain, the cluster, the state standards in the cluster, and then you have the unit contents with their page numbers, as well as the different mathematical practices in this unit laid out in plain English. When you start this section again, this entire page is a math model, meaning it is an example of what is going on. So they show what three times four means, you talk about it graphically, and the various different ways of talking about what multiplication means, and then the student has a corresponding type of activity page, and again and so forth. The workbook does give you ample space to do um, your problems, as well as giving you word problems for each concept. So I'm just going to flip through swiftly so you can see. I really like how they specifically lay out theoretically what each number in an equation means and the graphic nature of the math models. So I'm just going to flip ahead to a different section now so you can see how it looks. This is in the section for identifying problems and patterns. So asking a lot about whether things make sense, number patterns, multiplication charts. Here you have multi-digit arithmetic. Here's fractions, a lot of different graphic representations of fractions along a number line, as well as within shapes. Here you have time, liquid, volumes, and masses, interpreting data, measurements, area, there's a section on perimeter here, and shapes and attributes. I like that the pages are not overwhelming. I like that the answer key is very, very clear. I always find it helpful for when I ask my older students to grade my younger students' work. And I just like the way this is oriented. I like the idea of swiftly and effectively testing my students' skill level without overwhelming them with a whole slew of math problems. So this was the grade three math bundle offered by Evan Moore as part of their homeschool bundle, you guys. I hope this was helpful to you. If you are interested in looking into these books or any other Evan Moore books, please be sure to use my affiliate link down below. One of the nice things about Evan Moore is that they allow you to see inside the books. So if if you're interested in seeing these books in more detail or any other books, you can click within their link to see more about the insides. You can flip through several pages and see whether it would work for you. Because as I always say, every homeschool is unique and individual and what works for me might not work for you. What works for you might not work for me and that is the way it should be. So as always, you guys, I really hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was helpful and I wish you the very best day.